The city of Agra, situated about 200 kilometers southeast of New Delhi, is India's number one tourist destination, thanks to being the dwelling place of the world-renowned Taj Mahal. To people all over the world, the Taj Mahal, mausoleum of Mughal Emperor Shah Jana's chief wife, Mumtaz Mahal, is synonymous with India. Its curving, gently swelling dome and the square base upon which it rests so lightly is a familiar image from hundreds of brochures and travel books. The Taj is undoubtedly one of the most spectacular buildings of the world. Famed for its architectural magnificence and aesthetic beauty, it counts as among man's proudest creations and is invariably included in the list of the world's seven wonders. To narrow down pollution around the Taj Mahal, cars and motor rickshaws are not allowed in and around the compound. However, tongas, electric buses, and electric tempos are readily available, and the best way to get to the Taj. Auto rickshaws and taxis are cheap and widely available, and you can even rent one for the entire day for a pre-negotiated price. Another great way to experience the city is to take a walk down Mall Road. The street is full of handicraft and leather goods shops. You will also find plenty of food items unique to the Agra. Nur Jahan built this small but gorgeous tomb for her father, Itmad U Dalua, a Persian nobleman who became the chief minister of the Mughal Empire. The monument, one of Agra's loveliest, was supposedly built by workers from Persia. The tomb incorporates a great deal of brown and yellow Persian marble and marks the first use of Persian style marble inlay in India, both features that would later characterize the style of Shah Jahan. Particularly in its use of intricate marble inlay, 
this building was a precursor of, and very likely an inspiration for, the Taj Mahal, and for this reason it has earned the nickname of the Baby Taj. Inside the central chamber holds the tombs of Itmadu Dalua and his wife. Other relatives are buried in adjacent rooms. Most travelers to Agra never see this place, but its beauty and tranquility are extraordinary, and its well-maintained gardens make it a wonderful place to pause and reflect. Taj Mahal comes up as outstanding whenever you visit, but its splendor during nighttime is beyond the scope of words. Night viewing of the Taj is allowed for five nights a month, and it's certainly worth planning your trip ahead to get to Agra in time for this truly unique experience. of Agra is a monumental fortress founded in 1565 by the Emperor Akbar on the right bank of the Yamuna River. It is placed today on the northwest extremity of the Shah Jahan Gardens, which surround the Taj Mahal, and clearly form, with them, a monumental unity. The Red Fort and the Taj Mahal bear an exceptional and complementary testimony to a civilization which has disappeared, that of the Mughal emperors. Agra's history goes back more than 2,500 years, but it was not until the reign of the Mughals that Agra became more than a provincial city. Humayun, son of the founder of the Mughal Empire, was offered jewelry and precious stones by the family of the Raja of Gwalior, one of them the famous Koh-i Noor. The heyday of Agra came with the reign of Humayun's son, Akbar the Great. During his reign, the main part of Agra Fort was built. This bastioned fortress, with walls of red sandstone rising above a moat and interrupted by graceful curves and lofty bastions, encompasses within its enclosure walls of 2.5 kilometers, the imperial city of the Mughal rulers. Like the Delhi Fort, that of Agra is one of the most obvious symbols of the Mughal grandeur, which asserted itself under Akbar, Jahangir, and Shah Jahan. The fort's wall has two gates, the Delhi Gate and the Amar Singh Gate. The original and grandest entrance was through the Delhi Gate, which leads to the inner portal called the Hathi Pole, or Elephant Gate. But now the entrance to the fort is only through the Amar Singh Gate. The citadel comprises a large number of palaces, the Khas Mahal, the Shish Mahal, the octagonal tower of Muhammam Burj, as well as reception rooms, Diwan e Khas, built in 1637, and the mini pillared Diwan e Am, constructed in 1628, under the reign of the luxury loving Shah Jahan. Within the palatial complex, 
there are two very beautiful mosques of white marble. The Moti Masjid, or the Pearl Mosque, constructed by Shah Jahan, and the Nagina Masjid, built under the reign of Aranzgib. Several of the buildings are made from pure marble with beautiful carvings. All of these monuments mark the apogee of Indo-Muslim art, strongly marked by influences from Persia, which already manifested itself in Timurid art. Emperor Shah Jahan, who built the Taj Mahal, was imprisoned by his son Aranzgib in Agra Fort, from which he had a view of the building erected for his deceased wife. Shah Jahan is said to have died in the Musaman Burj, a tower with a beautiful marble balcony. Agra Fort is similar in layout to the Red Fort in Delhi, but considerably better preserved, as much of the Delhi Fort was raised by the British during the First War of Independence of 1857. The city of Agra itself is well appointed to deal with incoming tourists. Day trips from New Delhi are a possibility, with frequent trains connecting the two cities, and an abundance of tour operators are running the route should you be willing to spend an extra bit of cash. Such day trips are fun, but can also be grueling, and the wise traveler will probably plan to spend more than a few hours at the Taj, the Agra Fort, and the city's other select sites. Home to the world's greatest love monument, as well as some of the finest examples of Mughal architecture in India, Agra is justly included on every first-time visitor's itinerary. On top of its remarkable beauty, the dramatic history that played itself out on the Agra stages makes the entire experience come alive. Mm -hmm.